Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the NEBA conference in New Orleans 2012. Standing next to me is Ron Pickett of Clean Wind Energy, CWET, a publicly traded company. And Ron, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Nice to be here. Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get right into this. Tell me about uh, your... Uh, clean wind well we've designed a downdraft tower and it's a large hollow cylinder we locate it in a hot dry area like arizona or southern california northern mexico and across the top of the tower we spray a fine mist of water and this hot air must absorb the water it can't refuse it it sinks gets heavy and dense sinks down the tower creates wind at the bottom of the tower we disperse it into wind tunnels and we spin turbines and make electricity it sounds pretty simple it's, it's very simple. Uh, actually, uh, the Technion in Israel came up with this about 30 years ago, but they couldn't build the tower then. The technology is simple. It, this works. There's no question. And we have downdrafts that slam airplanes into the ground. I mean, this is a tremendous amount of wind power. But harnessing it took a very tall structure. And until about a year and a half ago, we didn't have the construction techniques to build the structure. How tall is it? About 3,000 feet. That's about 50% taller than you know, the largest building here in our country, but it's only 100 and so 200 feet taller than the, the new office building in Dubai, the Burj Tower, which opened up a year ago. And it was the self-erecting crane technology and technique that allowed that tower to be built. And this is eminently simpler to build than 3,000 foot office building. It's just a silo. How does it stay up once it's built? Well, it's uh, geometry and structural 101. It's a round structure. So all of the pressures on it, it's like you've seen the strongest man in the world try to break an egg. If you get the egg just right in his hands, he can't do it. So it's a round structure. It'll withstand any kind of wind forces and whatnot. It's designed for 200 mile an hour winds. And it's very lightweight construction, space frame construction. It's just a, a hollow cylinder. It's a big silo. So now, obviously, when it has the air coming down, it also gives it more power to stay standing. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, the air actually is a match between the air coming in the top and the air exiting at the bottom. So it's pretty stagnant inside the tower. There's very little pressure on the inside of the walls of the tower. But at the bottom of it, you remember mom used to have an orange juicer and squeeze her oranges every morning, at least mine did. At the bottom of this, we have this giant orange juicer that diverts the wind down evenly into 52 tunnels. And once it enters the tunnels, our turbines house the whole tunnel. So we're getting about 90% of the energy out of our turbines instead of maybe 35 that you get at a standard you know, farm turbine you see out in the field. And how much electricity can you produce this way? We'll produce, for the simple, simple way to understand it, is on a reliable 24-7 basis. Now, sometimes we'll produce a lot more than this, but on the average for sale to the grid, enough power to service 1.7 million homes. 1.7 million homes. That's equal to a large city. Yes, it's comparable to a dual reactor nuclear power plant. The typical ones we had here in the United States with two reactors were 1,000 megawatt plants. I'm going to ask you a question. What's the downside? What's the resistance? Where's the pushback, if any? And I think that's a fair question. It's a, it's a very fair question. The pushback when we announced this a year ago that we're going to enter this was, you can't build something that big. But that's been proven now. Uh, now that we have Kroll Cranes, largest crane company in the world, who's given us the cranes and helped with the structural design. Now that GE's come in and designed a power plant system for, or is working on that. Uh, the biggest people in the world have joined forces with us on this. I mean, even our law firm, Holland & Knight, I think they're the best energy company in the United States, and they have worldwide offices. And, and this is a world solution. This works in here, Mexico, Mideast, North Africa, India. Lots of places in the world are ideal for this. And you can pipe this power a long way. We can put a series of plants in North Africa and take the power under the Mediterranean and deliver it to the European grid. Whoa. So where's the first unit going to be? First unit's going to be in North America. We currently have four sites uh, that are clustered. It's a cluster of four towers that we're working on all four sites. Uh, we haven't announced the spe any specific site yet, so I can't say that. But that's coming, we feel, very, very shortly now. So this could seriously revolutionize wind power in the United States. It's a, it's a game changer for power in certain geographic areas. You know, I mean, we believe in solar. We believe in traditional wind. We're more akin to solar because we're using the sun 
to you know warm the wind and then adding water to it so it's kind of a hybrid if you will but uh, you know I'm for all kinds of alternative energy but the neat thing about us is we generate power at a cost comparable to a coal-fired plant or a gas-fired plant that's the secret to this and we make it 24 7 and there's no EPA problems zero emission zero emission. The only thing we have to factor in is we cover a lot of ground, so we have to do a survey and assessment, you know, the little critters running around and mm -hmm. make sure they get properly mitigated and taken care of. Ladies and gentlemen, what is your website? Uh, cleanwindenergytower.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Pickett, Clean Wind Energy, publicly traded company, CWET. Thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Thanks, Shelly. Good to see you again. Good to have you.